Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Tuesday, the 24th of September 2019. So the stock market uh, slipped yesterday but recovered. There's a surprise. Silver moved higher as well. Yield curve dipped. And uh, this is after the global macro data dumps yesterday. French, German uh, flash news yesterday, uh, causing the market to, to move lower in the early part of the session. So let's start off with the uh, Dow. A usual pattern here. Uh, we've got uh, the market uh, moving lower in the pre-market session. Where does it drop from? The 200 bar moving average trades all the way down uh, 200 points. And we see prices, 150 points actually. And then we see prices consolidate, uh, come back 50 points, and then uh, sideways uh, there in a range. But when the market opens, we've got that classic move. Prices are marked down. We see the buying coming into the market here. Prices rally. Where do they retrace to? The usual 76%. It's that predictable uh, what they do these days in this market. Right to the 76%. And that gives us the opportunity without needing any sort of uh, uh, signals in the software. If you wanted to get long, you can get long from here. You can see the risk is uh, minimal because you've got this setup. And then prices uh, move to the upside. Doesn't matter what the market is, this is a pattern, a blatant pattern of uh, manipulation that we're seeing at the moment. Prices then uh, trade through the 200 bar moving average, which uh, we see here. This then becomes a support area for the market. We see how it sits on it, and then it just uh, drifts higher uh, and then drifts back before the market closes. However, overnight prices have uh, put on a bit of a spurt here and are now trading sideways to higher above both uh, the DP. I'll just bring that back for you. Let me do it this way then. Trading above both the DP and the 200 bar moving average at the moment. And also above the 20 and 50, although the 20 has just come back a bit there. So this market uh, still moving to the upside. No surprise there. Uh, what news have we got today? There's only uh, some consumer confidence news for the US, uh, but otherwise no news for the market. So it could uh, drift a bit. Uh, we'll wait and see. But again, that's this is a classic. Classic, isn't it? I mean, how many times have we seen this in the last few weeks where the market's uh, done this and then moved higher, offering great trading uh, opportunity. And then uh, in the pound, this uh, will be waiting for uh, the 10.30 announcement from the Supreme Court. This is why uh, yesterday we see the, the market uh, just sideways uh, to lower there. And uh, then begin a sideways move, which it's been in uh, for most of the night. Not doing a lot there at all. So 10.30, we should see a bit of a reaction in this market, depending on the outcome of the Supreme Court. Like I said before, I never ever thought I would uh, see the day that uh, we hadn't got, uh, we were going to deal with non-economic news items and a court uh, verdict in um, determining the direction of the pound. But uh, that's the way that it is at the moment. And then uh, in Bitcoin, a bit of a flash crash yesterday in the 15 minute chart. We can see again, we're below the 200 bar moving average. It doesn't matter what the market is. It uh, plays out exactly the same as far as uh, the three moving averages. And then you combine this with the test bars, the psychological levels, pivot levels, and you'll see the market uh, formulate its own pattern. So we have a sell signal here below the averages. Market trades down to the S1 and the low of the previous day. Market finds support. Uh, it comes back, uh, we get 76% uh, retracement, which uh, is always uh, an added bonus. Uh, from down here to here, you'll see the market trades to this. We're still below the 200 bar moving average, so we get a nice short once more. Uh, this is something that I'm going to uh, add into the software to remove the uh, bounce back trade. Uh, in the shorter time frames because uh, you're going against the trend being down with the 200 bar moving average being uh, above it. 
So what you're looking for, as I've said before, is where the market is short. If it is short, then you just want to really uh, take advantage of those short trades. And then we see the market um, here with another short and then we get this bit of a flash crash down. You can see the volume is huge. They bring the market back, but it uh, bangs its head against the two uh, averages there. And also, if we go from this high to this low, because that's the high to the left, you'll see the market uh, just coming through with this one bar, the green bar, professional buying bar. And then it closes back. And then we continue on the short side with the market uh, struggling here. And also, again, uh, you, the low of yesterday, uh, Sunday is a resistance level. And prices move down. They go down to the S2. The S3 that we know that 99% uh, of the time, once the market gets down to the S3, the market will find support. And support we find with uh, buying there as well. And then we see the market uh, reversing and starting to move back uh, above yesterday's close there. So once you start to see the relationship between all of these uh, constituent parts, it's very easy to formulate uh, a uh, trading plan around it and also predict where the market's likely to move as well. In the four hour, again, as you step back, you can see that we're below the 200 bar moving average. If you look at the uh, previous uh, market alerts, I've spoken about how this has been a real pain for the four hour chart and the market then moving to the downside with prices trading through the 76% retracement from this low to this high which we can see there 9903 and then from uh, this low measured to this high we're also through uh, the 977 as well so this market needs to hold at this level 95.67 in order to uh, move back to the uh, upside there so watch this uh, level and then in the daily chart when you step back and look at the major and bigger picture 97.16 76 percent retracement is where the market traded to yesterday uh, it's also a double bottom area where the market traded to a few days ago as well so when you're short in this market it's so important that uh, you always step back and have a look at the bigger picture find out where those targets are and then keep a, a note of these and then you can uh, trade or take profits at uh, these uh, very important uh, levels or lock in profits and then uh, finally just a quick round of everything else the yield curve remains inverted uh, down again slightly yesterday and uh, the implied volatility is uh, still showing uh, the market uh, bullish as far as the Dow is concerned until we get a close below the 20 bar moving average. At the moment, uh, they're doing the best to bring the market back to the upside. And then we can see the figures there as uh, they reduced slightly yesterday as uh, the market managed to pull back from those lows in the pre-market session. So adding to the uh, comfort and reassurance again that the Federal Reserve is doing whatever it can to keep the market on the highs there. So not too bad of a day yesterday as far as uh, the Dow and Bitcoin were concerned. But as I warned, didn't expect a lot from the pound. We do have the announcement now 10.30 today for the Supreme Court. No economic news to move the markets, but that doesn't mean to say that they won't be um, moved back to the upside. And in particular, if there's nothing to actually create any sort of a sell-off or downside pressure and bitcoin needs to consolidate where it is at the moment and not take out uh, the lows in the daily chart just to remind you uh, there wants to hold above the 76 percent and the 93 21 level okay that's it uh, for this one if there is anything else to report i'll let you know but otherwise uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one